For many newcomers to 3D modelling, cars and other vehicles are a step too far. In this series of classes I will show you how to manipulate meshes to create almost anything you wish. In these exercises I will show you step by step how to model a Lambretta scooter. To begin with I've put together a set of reference photographs, these will help with the details. These can be downloaded from our website. And of course a blueprint. First we need to prepare this blueprint for use with 3ds Max. To do this I'm using Photoshop, but of course you can use your own favourite image manipulation program. Ok, I've switched to Photoshop and I've already opened the blueprint ready to start work. I need to create four blueprints from this sheet. I'll start with the front view. Select the rectangular marquee tool. Now click here above the front view. Hold the mouse button down and drag out the marquee. Release the mouse button. Now hold down the control key and type C. This copies the selected area into the computer's memory. Now we need a new sheet. Hold down the control key then type N. The new sheet dialog opens. I'll name the new image front. I want this to be 512 square. OK. A new image pops up. Again hold the control key down and then type V. The front view is now pasted into our image. If you look here in the bottom right corner, you see that we now have two layers. Again, hold down the control key then type E. This merges the layers into one. I need to darken the image. To do this, hold down the control key then type U. This opens the hue saturation dialog panel. Reduce lightness to minus 50. I'll do this to all the images. The reason is to help see the lines in 3ds Max. When you're working in Max, your model lines will be white. So if we don't make this colour adjustment, you'd be working with white over white. Now hold down the control key and type S. This brings up the save dialog. The file name is already there and I want to save it as a JPEG. Now back to the blueprint. Now I'll create the rear view. As before, use the rectangular marquee tool to select the rear view. Now Ctrl and C to copy. Ctrl and N. This brings up the new image dialog. Name this rear and resize to 512 by 512. Click OK. Here's our new image. Hold down the control key and type V. Hold down the control key and type E. This merges the layers. Hold down the control key and type U. Reduce lightness to minus 50. OK. Now control and S to save. File name is already there. Save as a JPEG. Close that and back to the blueprint. Now I want the side view. Use the marquee tool, Control and C, Control and N for a new image, new image dialog. I'll name this side. This image is larger, so I'm sizing it to 1024 by 1024. Resolution's fine. OK. Control and V to paste the image in. Hold down the control key and type E. Control and U for hue and saturation. Again reduce likeness to minus 50. Control and S to save. Back to the blueprint. Finally I need the plan. Select the marquee tool. Click and drag out your selection. Control and C to copy. Control and N for a new image. Name this plan. Again, size this to 1024 by 1024. OK. Control and V to paste the image in. 
Hold down the control key and type E. Control and U for hue and saturation. Again, reduce lightness to minus 50. Control and S to save. OK, that's the Photoshop work completed. That's it for this class. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. In the next video I will show you how to insert these blueprints into 3ds Max. There are many more classes and tutorials to come, so why not subscribe? Just click on the button below. Thanks for watching.